updates. How do we deal with them? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I have system updates everywhere. So, Windows is updating and there's also an update for Lightburn. Actually, two updates. I actually uh, opted not to update the second to the latest version because every time I get a Lightburn update and you know it should be a matter of just downloading the update and running it and you're done with it but unfortunately for me I could be doing something wrong in the setup process but when I run an update it totally wipes out my system configurations for my laser and what I'm running is a, a black and red uh, 100 watt laser it's a 28 by 20 bed and I have a, a Ryuta controller so when I update it's been the case in the past when I update Lightburn to the next version I have to go back in and put in my system settings and also the Lightburn camera settings as well as calibrating it so as you can see it's a very painful process for me and it gets in the way of my workflow not that I have a very strict workflow or timeline but when I want to use the machine I have to you know if there's not a light burn update I'm fine but every once in a while when I'm not using the machine and then I go to use it and I do accept to download the update it, I have to go through this whole process so maybe I'm doing something wrong in some of the setups or configurations within the machine um, that I can prevent this happening in the future if so please leave comments below I really appreciate it but I'm going to take you along on my process um, of going through this whole update process and uh, show you what I'm talking about. So right now I'm doing a clean up Windows update. I'm waiting, it's been about 15 minutes now and after that point I'll launch the application, the Lightburn application and I will accept to download the update. Now this version, I'm not sure what version, uh, I think I'm running 9.1 and I believe the latest version is 9.3 or 9.4 I'm not sure, I'll check in a minute. But I opted not to do the uh, second to the latest version because just because I didn't want to go through this whole process. And I believe some of the, uh, within that iteration, there were some bug fixes. So I wasn't experiencing any, uh, any issues with my current version of software, so I opted not to update it. But now I'm two versions behind, so I figured now is about the time to update it. All right, let's, let's stop. I'm just waiting for Windows. Hey anyway, guys, I'm sorry about the glare or the weird positioning of the camera, but I am in my workspace. I'm going to run, I'm going to launch Lightburn. It's going to tell me that I have a download. Okay, so currently I'm running version 9.18 and it's asking me that I have a newer version available which is 9.24 would you like to download it yes all right took a little bit because I have spotty Wi-Fi connection in my work area I'm gonna run it installing it very simple straightforward process Nothing to be worried about or concerned in this step. Okay, it's finished. And Lightburn is starting back up. So now, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but now I'm running 9.24 version of Lightburn. And I'm gonna go ahead and check my settings. So, it appeared that it took in my controller information but I'm having an issue with the camera now mind you I'm not using a light burn camera but I've never had issues like this before well I should say I've had issues when I update the software that there's some sort of interference with the webcam that I'm using let me explain Okay, so as you can see, it's recognizing my camera, but the update overlay is grayed out. And sometimes if I choose none and then go back to the camera, now I have the option to choose it. 
but when I click on it, it doesn't work. And I found in the past, after updating the software, that I have to go back in and remove it, re-add it, and then recalibrate it. This has been the case for the past few updates now. And like I said, I am not using the light burn camera, so maybe that has something to do with it. But generally, I don't have any issues with this webcam that I'm using. It's the HD Pro webcam C920, I believe. And when it's working, it works fine. All right, so you just saw that I totally lost the calibration. And I'm not sure if it's because I'm using a generic camera just a webcam uh, rather than the light burn camera but it's just a USB device so if there are any difference of opinions leave them in the comments below so I have my printed circle template for recalibration um, I don't throw these away I keep the same one and just put it in with my paperwork for these reasons and I obviously have to now clean out my bed start the whole calibration process I have a bunch of magnets in my laser. All right, let me just show you what I have set up here. It is just a typical high definition webcam mounted to the underside of my lid. And it took me a bit to get this positioned just right. Um, it takes a little while. And I had to use a, a series of different types of GoPro mounts and some hot glue to get it fixed in one position where it's not going to move at all. So it's there, not permanently, but it's not going to move. And of course I have the USB cable routed under the lid with some tie management clips going down and behind and out the machine, which then connects to back there, I have a wall-mounted PC. And generally I don't have an issue with this connection however like I said whenever I update light bearing software I got to go through this whole process so I just cleaned out the mess I had in the bed I had a series of magnets that I use for uh, repeatable jobs for alignment and now I have to do the whole cardboard thing and uh, calibration so this is the part that I don't like it's just a little bit of a a time-consuming aspect to it but let's get to it okay let me get back into it and go to tools calibrate camera lens select HD Pro webcam C920 okay I'm gonna choose standard lens because my lens is not a fisheye lens next and basically it tells you to place a circle pattern in this area of your bed and take a capture and basically what you're looking for is 0.3 or less is ideal you basically don't want to go above one it'll tell you basically if it's um, acceptable or not so I'll hit capture and it's giving me a 0.04 which is great it's telling me to go next and if you look up to your upper middle, it'll tell you where to position the printout roughly right about there. Capture, and I have a 0.06. It's saying great. Click next. Okay, it's telling me that I'm finished, done, the wizard in store your camera calibration. So it's going to store my camera calibration when I click finish. Okay, at this point, it's now time to turn the machine on, turn your chiller on, and your compressor, your blower, and get everything ready. And I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to remove 
the printed paper that I have, and I still have the cardboard in place because we're going to be cutting the cardboard, so to speak. Let me get that going. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. Start cutting out or engraving the test pattern. We frame it first. Okay, it's done. As you can see, break it out or bring the calibration pattern in the cardboard. And then we go up over here to the screen and we bring you the kind of square. And we go here to the screen and click next. Okay, so now it wants me to capture the image, and I capture the image. Actually, let me just let me just shut things down here. All right, let's go ahead and follow through the prompts. So I'm going to just bring it in as tight as I can and get as close as I can. Okay. Now it wants me to go to a marker two. And do the same thing. It's kind of tough to find the exact center. Because everything gets pixelated when you zoom in. You're done. Press the finish button below to exit. Finish. Okay. Alright, so I'm completed. So what I'm going to do is come down over here and I'm going to take this Sharpie and I'm going to make some circles randomly around the cardboard. And I'm going to overlay that and we're going to see how accurate it is. Refresh the overlay. And now as you can see, you can see my little mocks that I made with the Sharpie. And what I'm going to do simply is I'm going to grab the circle, kind of position it somewhat in the center. And do the same over here. circle around that guy. Come up to the top center. The circle around that guy. And let's see what else. How about this guy right here? The circle. Small little circle right in the center. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm just putting some random uh, engravings in somewhat the centers of these mock these locations that I mocked up. So okay, and let me get things set up to cut. Okay, so here is the overlay with my not round circle indicators. <laughs> and here's the actual engraving. Okay. 
Okay, so let's let's update the overlay, see how accurate it, it, it really is. Hold on. Okay. So let me remove this object. And there's my engraving right there, the actual engraving. So I would say it's pretty darn pretty darn perfect. Alright, alright, so as you can see, it is a problematic process. For whatever reason, it the calibrations on these machines with light burn some most of the time goes smoothly, but sometimes you have these weird settings that were just changed if you update light burn. And in my case, and one just let me explain one caveat to this whole process. I am not using the light burn official camera. I'm using a high definition webcam. So Take that with a grain of salt. Even though there might be little issues here and there, I think it's still worth it because if if the camera goes south and doesn't want to work anymore, I'll just get another $30 webcam. We all have webcams hanging around our house. So take that for what it's worth. But if you want something that doesn't present issues all the time, then maybe actually getting the light burned camera um, the one that they recommend um, to use with light burn um, that might be the best route for you but like I said I'm just happy with my typical HD camera it works fine with the exception of when I have to update light burn so with that being said if you have any ideas in the future for me to prevent this from happening again leave comments below maybe I'm doing something wrong um, but I've checked out all the settings and configurations and I can't find anything in regards to um, saving you know your camera settings and not losing those settings when you update Lightburn. So that's just my process how I do it. It works out fine as you can see it's very accurate and um, accurate enough for me for my purposes. But uh, I'm all set so I'm ready to go. Thanks for hanging out with me and going through my process and my pain and suffering. If you have any advice for the next time uh, Light Burn comes out with an update, let me know and I'll make those changes in the configuration to see if that works. Thanks. Talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.